Yo, what's happening, folks? Um, so right, I've decided I'm gonna do uh, a quick review of all three of the, the Six Nations games today, saying as it's the final weekend, and I, I I almost instantly regret it. I mean, what can you say about the Italy Scotland game? I mean, Stadio Olimpico, fantastic looking ground, um, the weather was fantastic, and that's about all positive you can say. I mean, wow. Okay, we both know that these two teams were in the position they were in for a reason, okay? This was the first time in uh, 17 years, the first time since 1995 that we have had a wooden spoon decider match, which was a whitewash. Neither of these two teams had won a game so far in this tournament. Now, the last time that that happened was, as I say, 1995, and it was Wales and Ireland. And Wales beat Ireland, so Ireland had the wooden spoon that year. Scotland lost today. I mean, Scotland lost. I think Scotland didn't even fucking show up today, to be honest. Um, I mean, Scotland have some good players, but they just weren't interested, you know? Scotland have now lost seven games in a row, I think. I'm pretty sure it's seven games in a row they've lost um, in the in the Six Nations, which... As it's it's awful. I mean, Scotland are a better team than Italy, but just weren't interested today. And I mean, Italy. It, I mean, it, God love them. Italy tried. They did. They tried. They they tried to play rugby, uh, but they just haven't haven't got the talent. You know, they haven't got any any real real game changers. I mean, Castro Giovanni was near man of the match, and that that goes to show. You know, I mean, a guy that was just about making the. The, the gain line, you know, got man of the match. The, you know, that that's how poor this match really was. And I apologise for to Italian fans and to Scottish fans. But surely you guys cannot look at that match today and think... I mean, the only thing left to play for today was pride. Because nobody wants to finish bottom of the group. Or bottom of the tournament without a win. And yet, they... Neither... Well... Italy looked like they were trying. They honestly did. They looked like they were trying. But Scotland just thought... It looked like they just thought, fuck it, let's get this over and done with. Get rid of Robinson as a coach. And then maybe we'll have a chance of doing something next year. Because, I mean, if you go back to last week against Ireland, Scotland, for the first half, Scotland hung in there. And today, for the first half, Scotland hung in there against Italy, who Scotland should have been beaten into the ground. It just... It, it was just so, so poor. I mean, it... it I, I almost regret getting out of bed for it. And yes, I, I I do sound like I'm just sort of whinging incessantly about it. But I mean, Scotland, up until last week, Scotland had won 34 out of 34 of their lineouts in the Six Nations tournament in 2012. Now, Ireland robbed a couple of them. And the first one that they had today, Italy robbed of them. Now, Italy are not a good... Squad. I mean, when you consider that Hamilton and Ah Christ, I can't even think of the guy's name now. I've just had a complete blank. But the the other guy, the number four for Scotland, six foot nine and six foot ten. There's nobody, nobody should be competing with them in lineouts. And yet Italy, with a much inferior lineout and a much smaller lineout, they 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 robbed them. And I, but then they, I mean, what can you say about the Italian lineout? They had uh, what was it called? Ungar, Ungar, Ungaro, uh, I think it was Ungar, um, who had decided he, he, he had announced his decision to retire from international rugby. So instead of being the replacement hooker, he actually started today. And that was a, a change that was made shortly before, before the game actually started. And well, you, can t you, you could honestly tell why he was the replacement hooker. That dude, I mean, he... His, his liners, his throws in the liners were just appalling. He he, he gave so many away. like throwing to the back of the lineout is fine, but when you throw ten yards past the back of the lineout, you you know you've got a bad hooker. <laughs> but I mean, there it is. I mean, it, it it's nothing if not room for improvement for Scotland. That's all they can honestly take from this is that well we can't do much worse, and maybe that bit of. Maybe it was the pressure of having played so badly that got to them, I don't know. But next season, you got to imagine Robinson won't be in charge next season. And that next season, they will 
they will have a little less pressure because surely the expectancies can't be so high. I mean, they started this tournament off and they could have beat England. They should have beat England only for a couple of block downs. Um, and, they, you know, they, they were unlucky there. They they weren't great against Wales or France. Against Ireland, against Ireland they hung in there. I mean, what was it, 20, 22... 22-14 or something like that at half time. I mean, only for the try right on half time. You know, they were in touch with Ireland, but just just didn't have the talent. And you know, ah. Uh, anyway, listen, enjoy yourselves. Have a good day.